trifecta, Prezak. guys, welcome back to episode 2 of UCW, Backyard to Global. Here's the news, you know, ROH is a thing now. And this old dude wins. Best manager in the world. I wonder if he's managing his son. Uh, I feel bad now. Alright. We made three thousand and a half dollars of profit. I'm really sweaty right now. You know, we gained popularity. You won. Just won. Then there's nothing else I really need to show you before we get on to the next show. Except for that Nick Cage has our highest momentum. Even higher than CM Punk. And Caprice. Caprice has crappy momentum. But yeah, let's get on to the next show. So we're at the show. Finally, after like 10 minutes of simming, it's booked at the All-Star Sports Arena in the Tri-State region where we ran our, ran our last show. Vince Russo was a negative influence, why didn't I notice that sooner? And Mystico was isolated because he's a Mexican. That is fine. Nothing else to do. Let's get straight into booking. Main event. Champ is CM Punk, and he is a heel, so we need a face. Prefer main eventers. We'll go Cole Cabana because that's gonna be a good match. And then this is gonna be running 25 minutes because that's what the product says. He's the underground champion, defending it. He's gonna win, obviously. Could you not spin? Like, that'd be great. Open match. I don't think they can call a match in the ring, but I'll put it anyway. Slow build. Let's check on that. Psychology 62. 65. So I guess I can call it in the ring. It just won't be very good. But that's fine by me. Better than what Vince Russo could probably do. Our next match will be... Let's call it a number one contenders match for the underground title. Exclude those who have been booked. It will be AJ Styles versus not Nick Gage. Claudio. Yeah, we'll give Claudio the chance. Even though he's not gonna win it. Go 14 minutes. Non-title match, Victor AJ Styles via Styles Clash, open match, call, don't call that in the ring, neither of them can, all out, that should be fine, repetitive booking, oh yeah, we're gonna need a promo in here, so let's add, hold on, who's got the best promo skills? Besides Adam. Probably Punk. Ooh, no. Overall, it'd probably be Colt. Yeah, overall, it's Colt. So let's go ahead and give him a promo going into the match. Have him hype it. Catalyst. Oh crap. 
What the hell? Ah. Uh. Oh. Why is it like this? <laughs> no. Close. Yes. <sighs> Why must you do this to me? Alright, now it's fine. Cold Cabana. Subject CM Punk. Cabana Hypes match. We'll give that a solid 8 minutes. Ocho Minutos. Whatever the Spanish word for minutes is. And then we're gonna have... Oh no. Not again. Could you please stop that? We're gonna have a ladder match. Caprice Coleman versus Nick Gage because we're going to take that momentum, put it on Caprice. You know, that's probably not going to. Why are you doing this to me? I know most of it, like where all the buttons are. Potential. Are you sure you'd like to continue? No. Tense. There we go. Victor Caprice open match call. No, not at all. We'll script it. Is anybody gonna take a bump? Caprice? Nick? You're not willing to take a crazy bump. Alright, sure, whatever. I don't think there's anything in here I need. No. There we go. No, yeah, no. Save. So that could be the show, but that's not how we roll. We give the fans what they pay for. And that's an hour and a half of wrestling. So next is a 1v1. Mid card, let's go. Dilly versus Chris. Wait, has this happened? I feel like it has. No, it hasn't. Or was it Billy versus Claudia last time? No, I must know. It was a... Yeah, it was Claudio. Well, now he gets the other member of Kings of Wrestling, so... We have this ten minutes. We're gonna give the win to Chris. Open match, scripts, all out match, work the crowd, this will be the opening, the open match. How many, oh no, stop. How many more do we have left? Oh my, no. We have four guys, let's go a four way. Add match, four way. Again, Austin versus Matt versus Mike versus Mystico. Uh, here should be the no, this is the name right about here. Ten minutes, non title, don't need to change the announcers. Here's a road agent note, so I just gotta find them. <sighs> this has been happening since I started recording. I don't understand why it does this. I don't know how to fix it either. The victor, I honestly don't care who wins. We have Matt the win because why not? Open match, scripted. All out match. And that's the show. I don't, I don't see why I recorded all this, it just kind of seems boring, but I don't, I don't know. Because probably if I did knew it would only take like five minutes to <laughs> say everything that happens. So, to start the show in front of 19 people, oh yeah, it's called Rise to the Occasion too. I just randomly generated it.
Alright, so Billy Fives versus Chris Hero gets a 37 D minus. Solid entering action, not much in the way of heat like every other match we ever had. Uh, he defeats Billy Fives by pinfall with a hero's welcome. Lift of the crowd, no improvements. Chris Hero is getting the bulk of them penalized for length. Alright, whatever. 35 E plus Austin Aries versus Matt Seidel versus Mike Quackenbush versus Misty Go. And about that solid in reaction, but non existent crowd heat. I feel like that's going to happen a lot. Matt defeated Austin, Mike, and Mystico in 935. Mystico first, then Aries, and then Quack and Bush. Austin Aries is improving in performance. So that is nice. I guess. Mystico. Poor gimmick. Well, he has no face. Alright. This is actually better than what I thought was going to happen. And about that, I'd saw it in reaction, not much in the way of heat. Caprice Coleman defeated Nick Gage in 11... I'm, I'm, I'm an idiot. I read that as 11. In a 1v1 ladder match. In 1343, when Caprice retrieved the item, and he makes defense number one of his title. Lifted the crowd. No worker improvements, and... Nick Gage... I don't understand what the negative crowd reaction is. Is it like they don't like him? I guess if we're in like a vocal place, they might tell us in that road agent report, but... Yeah, Nick Gage just is not doing well, but... He's cheap, and he's kind of over in the tri-state area, so we're gonna use him. Maybe he'll turn into a primetime player, who knows. And about that, a good crowd. Wow, this finally happened. And some decent entering action, but I feel like that's not going to change for a few shows. AJ Styles defeated Claudio Castagnoli in 1350 by pinfall the Styles Clash. And he's now the number one contender, so he's going to get a title shot at the next show. This weird, symmetrical shaped head. Uh, no work improvements. AJ for locker room or hell. And stamina for Claudio. I feel like Claudio, like, he has a lot better stamina than most wrestlers. <laughs> I don't understand. Unless maybe it's the hair weighing him down. 47D. Cole Cabana had an interview hyping up his upcoming singles match with CM Punk. Yep. 34E plus. Should not have promos, I guess, but... Whatever. Dirt sheet. Low locker room morale. How does how should that affect a promo though? Just because in the back, you know, no one's high fiving each other and all that, like how's that gonna affect how he speaks? Uh, that just makes no sense. Alright, in a, in a good crowd it's a decent angry action. I cannot speak, I slurred my words, I'm high. CM Punk defeated Cole Cabana in 25 minutes and 7 seconds by pinfall with a Pepsi plunge. CM Punk makes defense number uno, yeah, uno of his UCW underground title. They have great chemistry in the ring and it showed in their performance. Lived at the crowd. Blah, blah, blah. No, only low mock room or else this could have been slightly better. I mean, what is it? they probably want me to hire a chiropractor and all that, but I have to pay for that. Like, no. So overall, it's got a 54 C minus, and it increased our popularity in one region. We'll talk to CM Punk. We'll point him out as a good example again. I think that's what I did last time. Colt Cabana. Compliment him on a good performance. And then AJ Styles. I don't... Repeatedly insulted? No. Point out as a good example also. Seem please, seem please, seem please. And now we got look at this horseshoe dude. It's got some big traps. Alright. Jimmy Jacobs joins ROH. Incoming for WWF. 
I wish it would tell you who they, like, offered contracts to. Because that'd be... I, best, I guess. Rise to the occasion. It's your 19 fan... Oh, whoops. It's your 19 fans. The feedback has been extremely positive. It was apparently a great show from them. Yeah. It was. A thousand fans, and this is their first show. And it's apparently their anniversary. MVP was amazing, Red. Whoops. 57. Our main event was better than yours. Defeated Frankie Kazarian for the title. Shark Boy defeats Eric Young. Cody Hawk defeats Nasawa. Air Paris defeats Kid Romeo. Paul London defeats Mark Briscoe. Ken Anderson defeats Alter Boy Luke. Jack Evans versus Vic. Pre and Ricky Reyes defeats Jeremy Lopez. Decent card, decent card. I think there's no one, nothing else I need to show you guys. So, I guess this is the end of another episode. How long has this been? Like five minutes? Pretty much. I mean, I can I can show you guys something else, like creative meeting, real quick. Colcaban is our main, our main eventer. Popularity 22. You know he's a, he's over. He's getting some chance. CM Punk's 32, but he's only second. Something screwy. AJ Styles number three, 28. So even he is higher than Colt. I'm like what the hell? Nick Gage. He's rolling with an 18. And he's in at number four, so that's pretty much why I have him around, just because of his his popularity. But the psychology got one point better. That's that's always nice to hear. Next big things, no one hot prospects in Mystico, because he's got that star quality. Uh, Caprice, you know, that's why I have the t intense title on him. Matt, giving him a push. Six popularity, look at that. Austin. Eight. You know, he's he's over. Whoops. Talk of the talk. Adam Sandler. Even though his voice is annoying. Showstoppers Mike. Ring Generals Mike. Who's hot? AJ Styles. He's... Oh, it doesn't tell me. Nick's down to third. Claudio's up here, Colt's up here. Let's see. Let's look at here. Let's let's push everybody. Let's give them a readjustment. Main, mid, ref, mid Carter. That scared the shit out of me. That was really loud. Upper mid Carter, giving him that push. What's his? Only a forty-six. Thought it would go up more than that. Oh, Claudio's a main eventer now. He's going to be getting a main event push. Maybe main event in WrestleMania next year. <sighs> CM Punk. Main eventer, main eventer. Announcer, obviously. Mid Carter, upper mid Carter. Mid Carter, main. Oh, he's down to upper mid Carter. But he's one of our franchise players. How could this be? And then Red Agent. That really wasn't necessary to do, but I'm just trying to fill time. But that should be the end of this episode. Episode 2, we'll be back for episode 3 probably in the next year and a half, maybe, if I feel like it. But yeah. I'm just going to end it now.